the demonstration, I'm going to use my Oracle of Mysteries, which is a very nice deck and not boring at all. It holds the traditional meaning of um, the Lenormand, but it has this crisp and nice images. So I'm just going to flip my cards into the upright position. It's the symbol that I gave uh, my guides that I'm clearing the deck and that I'm ready to work and also it doesn't, you know, make me lose time when I'm spreading the cards to put the cards back in order and give you also a sneak peek of the deck. So I'm going to take the question of Mary. <clears throat> her name is not Mary, but she will recognize herself. So she's asking about her career because she's a mother, a, a, a housewife actually. She had been raising her children for the last years and everyone now is uh, leaving home. Uh, some are working and some are going to college. So she has much free time for herself, but she really wants to go for um, being an entrepreneur, creating her own products and services and, you know, being her own boss and she really wants to know if everything is going to be all right is that a wise decision uh what can she expect so i'm doing this thought of uh, this double line of seven which is 40 uh, 40 cards 14 cards uh laid down you know in two row seven and i'm shuffling the cards a little bit so you will also see that when i shuffle cards i really like to to tap them so it's like removing you know the dust from an old thing or to clear something which is old it's like awakening the deck it's my way of doing it so you can do it as well or you can actually you know, do your own uh, way so here we are so if mary was there I, I should ask her to cut the deck into it's okay and I read the, the cut. So we have the heart and we have the, the fox. So we see here that Mary really wants to do that career thing, but she is really afraid of not being uh, enough wise, of not having this vision of the future and not also being that smart. So we see here that Mary is like, you know, in a balance. She doesn't know about what she will be doing. So you can take the card from the top, but I really like to, you know, to put the cards like that and then choose. Some people really, you know, feel the cards and see which card are hot, which card are cold. This this is a, uh, a sign from them that the card they should take is this one. So four, five, six, and seven. So I'm going to pull the two lines and then I will explain to you how I read it. I hope that you can see everything. I'm sorry my voice is a little bit broken because I had uh, a workshop yesterday and there was no microphone so I really had to speak loud and this had you know affected my voice a little bit. So Second line of seven, I'm keeping in mind that Mary wants to know if she will be successful in her career, okay? And first thing that I look at is if there is the significator card, so the lady, so she's not there. I also look at the card that relates to the question, which is job, and my job card is the anchor, and it's not there as well. Uh, it's there, sorry, it's there third card from the second line. So what I do is I interpret this thread first. Interpret this thread first. So this tell me we have the road, the, uh, the, the cross, the fish, the lilies, the dog, the ship, and the tree. So putting that in a story, this is telling me that she is actually facing a choice. So this free first card will be about her actual situation. Okay. The middle card is what she's focusing on. And the last free is the outcome or the future. So we see here that she is in front of a big dilemma. 
She, this is waiting on her head, the cross. She is thinking about money and also about being true to her the heart's desire. We have seen the heart and the fox before uh, spreading the card. So she's really asking herself, should I do that? Will it's something that I really desire to 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 do, but the financial aspect of thing really frightens me. So then we have here uh, the dog telling me that there will be some kind of partnership. She will have perhaps to travel, okay? And she has also to actually do some kind of multi multitasking. So how I read it is the second card influenced the first one. The next card influenced the ones before. The next card influenced the... It's like, you know, coming back each time. It modifies... The cross modifies the, the roads, which give us a difficult choice. Why? We put the fish and the fox, because it's about financial burden. We continue. We have the lilies, which, which can be also, also be patience. So patience about money or um, being a little bit, you know, um, uh, feeling a little bit uh, down because of money okay and then we have the dog which is a trustful friend because lily is about purity and clear intention and the dog is about a partner or a friend then we move to the ship which is traveling with someone moving from perhaps town to town and for me the the uh, ship, like I have explained, the ground to blow. The ship for me represents the car, okay? Because it's the only uh, car in the deck that has an engine. So the ship is about road travel, and if it's uh, if it's airplane, there will be the stork with the with the ship, and it's about boat. It will be you know closely the anchor and the shape or the fish and the shape but actually it's in the past so it doesn't concern uh, this okay so we see here a healthy decision healthy change another tree and the and the vessel okay so this really shows what Mary is experiencing okay and even if I feel that it's a good decision. There will be some kind of trickiness that she really needs to be aware of before going into this situation. So now I interpret my second line, which tell me about the job. Okay, job being her own boss. The sorry, the bear is being her own boss. Obstacle in being a boss because the offer or perhaps the market is a little bit small or the job is too big for her to handle. She needs perhaps a man, but she needs to be really attentive to the man because it's a sneaky man. Or it can be someone who has a sharp, sharp tongue. And I also see the, the, the serpent or the snake as a sign of jealousy. Okay, so here Mary gets her reading. Now I'm going to go a step further in this inter interpretation. I'm going to uh, change the first line from a, a line spread to a house. House spread. So this is the house of the crossroad, the house of the cross, the house of the fish, the house of the lily, and etc. And then the card below will be the card which is on the house. Okay? The first house we see here is the house of a crossroad, so it's about decision. Decision about what? The anchor. It's my job card. So there is a decision that needs to be taken regarding a career or work. Okay? We see that this decision, now these, you know, the first line doesn't interact with each other because they came house, they became the houses, and houses are immobile. They don't combine with the other houses, they are fixed 
only the cards below can be combined. So we see here that in the house of the birding, there is a big bear. The bear is about perhaps aggressivity. It's also about, you know, getting his own food because the bear has to chase for his own food. And he is, this can be also a sign of protection. Okay, maybe this is telling her that she's protected in her decision regarding her work. Okay, so we see that in the house of the fish, which is the house of finances, of monetary action, of prosperity or abundance, we see the mountain. The mountain is about an obstacle, it's about a uh, uphill climb, it's about uh, giving efforts that will pay perhaps after that, but it seems something big as something that you can't get over it. Then in the house of the honesty, or the house of the lilies, or the house of the patience, we have the offer or the gift, it's the bouquet. So this is telling me that an older man will come out of the blue. I interpret the lily here as an elder because we see a couple there too. This is the king of a spade and the bouquet is the queen of, of spade. So we see that this queen can be Mary herself and this king is about the partner that we were speaking about uh, uh, earlier. And here there is a family as well. We see the king, the queen and the jack with the child. So this can be someone very close to her, an elder man and, or an elder woman. We don't know yet, but we will see after that. An elder person that is coming out of the blue and that is perhaps bringing some sort of counsel. And here in the, in the house of friendship and relationship, uh, which is the dog, we have the child. So there is small steps, there is small enterprise. So things are starting to move. So there is a, re a relationship which is created here with this person that came from the uh, family of, of, uh, of uh, Mary. Then we see here in the house of the ship, and remember that we have king, queen, jack, and we have then the ten. Okay, so this is also a, a neat thing to look at because actually the spades in the uh, Le Normand is beneficial because all the good, most of the good cards are in the spade. Uh, the clubs are the more, you know, uh, uh, heavy cards because you have the whip, you have the mountain, you have the clouds, you have the snake. So all the negative cards are in the in the clubs. So we see here that. Uh, in the house of the ship, there is someone coming perhaps from abroad mm -hmm. or someone who comes from a trip. And when you, when you want to describe someone, we can say that this person is someone who has tan skin, someone with a healthy body, uh, someone who can seems like a sailor, you know, well, well built, someone who have tattoos, someone who loves to travel, okay? So this is this man who is helping Mary in the future with her job. But still here, Mary should really be cautious because the snake is in the house of the tree. So her, her well-being, her health can be in danger of the snake. Okay, the, I also see uh, the snake as an intruder. Okay, in a half reading, this will tell me about a virus or someone who had worms or whatever parasite, I don't know what kind of, uh, of, uh, of disease. I don't know the, the term in English. I know them in French, not in English. So she really needs to be careful because this man is going to intrude in her life. And the tree is also about ancestry. And when you put these together, if we had to do this uh, meaning, this will tell us about the legacy of Mary. So we should ask Mary, did her receive money recently that she wants to put in this job? And if yes, she really needs to pay attention to uh, some kind of man who is from the family, who can be actually who had been living abroad or who had 
actually work for company abroad and had some course, some sort of knowledge. Okay, so this is how you will interpret it. So the third method that I do, it's very rich, this method, I will do the mirroring. Okay, so the mirroring is I mirror these two with these two. So this is telling me about a choice concerning a job. Okay, and this choice will impact on the health of Mary. There can be jealousy, there can be intruders, there can be treats, hypocrites, I don't know these kind of sneaky people. Okay, this will bring a heavy and big burden in the life of Mary because a man from the outside or the man of the travel will bring all this burden. He can be actually blocking Mary in her finances, or he will be blocking Mary in his finances. He seemed to be someone friendly, someone jovial, someone young with new ideas, but perhaps he is someone who is very childish, very novice, knowing anything about this career path. And Mary should be really pay attention to this association. Okay, so I can put a card in this middle because this is very nice to have the suits like that that you know meet in a reading. So if I would need any clarification on anything here, I will ask my parent or myself to pull a card and then just to drop it, you know, where I need the clarification. And here we have we have the clover. Okay, so Mary actually will um, have the clover story is about luck. It's also about things which is unexpected. And the bouquet together with the clover is things that comes out of the blue. Why? Because when someone gives you a gift, you don't expect it. It's a gift. When someone is lucky and like plays some kind of game or win something, it's also unexpected okay so everything is gift everything seems to be gift but this is telling me also that not everything that is shiny is gold not everything which is bling bling is diamond so she really not need to scratch the surface and really go deeper and look for uh, any kind of you know of trickery of betrayal before going but if she would do actually this uh, job herself without involving any partner any collaboration things will go really well so if i wouldn't look at mary then i can actually look for the woman card because she doesn't came in the spread i will look for mary and i will pull two cards before her and two cards after her uh, we will have only one because there is no card before the uh, the side. So, okay. So, Mary really needs to be sharp. She really needs to cut away things, you know, cut the clutter, cut the past, cut the ties, cut any association or relationship. Herself, she is, she has the wisdom, she has the, I will not say fame, but she can see, she can distinct what is good for her. And I really feel that herself alone, she will shine. She will be successful in what she does. But she does it, she really needs to take the leap and do these things alone. So hope that this little spread really help you. I invite you to practice it, to enjoy it. Very easy. Seven card, double seven card line. And you do whatever we have used uh, association, we have done uh, mirroring, okay, we have done pairing, mirroring, pairing is the same thing, <coughs> actually. And you can, you know, do any clarification, pull more cards, you know, look where the job card is, depending on what you are reading about. So try it and tell me what do you think about it. It's my signature spread. It's what I use when I'm 
not doing the ground tableau because not always I do the ground tableau. I do it when things are complex, where my client came for the first time. I don't know anything from them. I do the ground tableau because I need information and I need to uh, make the person, you know, be confident because when the, the client sees the reader uh, to be confident and really get where the person had been, where she's heading, it brings them more power and more confidence. Reading is about that. It's about empowering people. It's not predicting the future. It's bringing insight that will help the person take the wisest decision and bring happiness and joy to their life. So send you love, light and blessing. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, press the subscription button and post your comment and share my videos as well. So have a wonderful day and talk to you later.